Episode 2, Jeez. Bachelorette Season 13. <laughs> oh my god. How's that for an intro? Wow. Aren't those expensive shades? Yeah, they are expensive. Oh, wow. you really we... didn't give an F. <laughs> That's right. That's... Kind of. Yeah. Kind of like DeMario didn't give an F. Oh, exactly. <laughs> exactly, man. Dude, how dramatic was this episode, man? Holy shit. I'm surprised that Chris Harrison didn't intro the episode with the most dramatic Bachelor send-off in history. Well, you know why it didn't? Because it actually was. I no, mean, this is true. one of yeah. the first times that it actually lived up to the hype. Uh, to quote my man Drake, it lived up to the hype. Yeah, it really did. Said that. It really did. Anyways, we'll get into it in a little bit, but in case you didn't know, we were two bros. It's a break. Right? We break down the Who's What Two Fans Or. Uh, I thought you said the Red Bull was wearing off. <laughs> I don't know if it <laughs> it's has. It's coming back in, man. It is coming <laughs> back in. The second Red Bull win? Yeah, that's right. Let's, second win. We gotta saddle up then. <laughs> Dive in. Alright, I think it's time, Logan. We did a little full disclosure here. Now, people are watching this video, they're probably wondering, wow, Pat, looks like he got some color this weekend. <laughs> He's on the side. Probably so, yeah. Enjoying himself. Well, that was Probably all today. what they're thinking, yeah. <laughs> because, hand up, I forgot today was Bachelor Day. <laughs> it was part of long, it was part of the long weekend. It was yeah. Memorial Day, yeah. barbecues, kayaks, right, right. out on the water. Right. And then I get a text at 640 from my man Logan over here <laughs> saying like, hey, I, I can be there at around 8. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> Which is crazy because what feels like Memorial Day more than a nice episode of Bachelorette, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's why our troops died. Just so that we can watch the this Bachelorette. This actually might be the most explicit expression <laughs> of freedom that America has. Um, yeah, I think, I, think, I really think it might. It's a hallmark of our freedom, really, I, that we can say, some dumb shit like this on TV, <laughs> yeah. and it can be one of the most watched network events on television. Yeah, yeah. That's but anyway, true. we say all that to say that we missed maybe the first twelve minutes yeah. as we're racing back from our respective barbecues. <laughs> Which apparently, I mean, I don't know. It didn't look like we missed a whole lot because no. when we turned the TV on, I got a faceful of Ashen. It, it, yeah, faceful of Ashen. Another faceful of Mila, and then a faceful of some guy with a vacuum and a baby strapped to his chest. Yeah, I didn't totally know what was going on, and when I was making my notes, I was like, I guess it was like an obstacle course for your progression of like, yeah. a, going from a new couple to an old couple. Yeah. I, that's my best guess. I think they were trying to figure out who the most uh, husband material was mm, for Rachel. I see. And it, apparently... And it was very clear, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. You want to tell them who? Yeah. It was oh, <laughs> wha boom. That's going to be the last time we mention that word yeah. tonight, by the way. Yeah. I hope. Yeah, uh, I think so. But I just, before we move on, the baby drowning in the sink. <laughs> that should have been an automatic DQ. Disqualification, I I, dude. From any other sporting event, there is a DQ yeah. built in. Yeah. And how he didn't qualify? <laughs> I don't know. That, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, he won the uh, all-important more time with Rachel, which every time oh they do these group God. dates, if you win, you just win more time. I think they when, make it up on the fly. Yeah. I if really it's some so. bozo, then they're like, oh, you more time. Yeah. But if it's real, then they'll be like, oh, here's a rose again. Yeah, here's a rose. But uh, he just won more time. But, yeah. I mean. Didn't really mean a whole lot of anything because yeah. fast forward he to He clearly me. didn't ask Rachel, hey, what color do you think would look good on me for the cocktail party tonight? Because <laughs> oh. he wore like a aqua green, aqua surf green shirt and then yeah. like turquoise socks. Real talk, there has been a lot, a oh. lot of fashion faux pas oh this season. God. And I say that as the dude wearing the denim vest over the floral shirt. And I, I have mean, a stained... <laughs> do they see the uh, underwear I'm wearing? They do the not. Okay, I, I'm yeah. cut out of frame. All right. Not wide enough for that. <laughs> uh, but, uh, man, there have been some bad outfit choices. Super weak. Anyway, that's for another time. Oh, yeah. What we do have to mention, though, is that uh, Wabu didn't get shit. I guess we did mention that two times. <laughs> uh, but uh, Dean got the rose. Oh, yeah. Dean okay. is the dude now that I is remember. coming full speed ahead. And uh, despite his punchable face, I mean, have we talked about that, dude? I don't know, man. Well, I think there's going to be an over-under set at some point in the Saturday of the night between the distance <laughs> between his eyes and Rachel's two front teeth. Yeah, that is, it's pretty comparable. That might be what the connection, Huge that might be gap. where it comes from. Yeah. But uh, Dean got the rose, so um, there's something going on there. Yeah, but can I say something? Hmm. I I'm going to put my sports uh, radio personality hat on here and say, Dean is a fraud. He's an absolute fraud. <laughs> oh, uh, we did a contender pretender thing last week, yeah. and uh, I think he's an absolute fraud. You think he's a pretender? pretender? I think. Well, I think his sweetness is going to carry him as far as it is, which I think is going to be like fifth or sixth. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah. I think right. the same reason that she's going to advance him is going to be the same reason she lets him go, which he's just too sweet and young. He's twenty five. Yeah, he's young. And he's not like there enough for for Rachel to want him to propose. All right, we move on to the first solo date of the season. Or actually, 
Two on one day, as it became apparent. Was there anything more obvious than the fact that that dog was going to get out of the, oh, the Cadillac yeah. at the end there? That, they, that was telegraphed for sure. By the way, I like that they're keeping up with the Tesla oh, as yeah. a part of like this yeah, season. That's true. Yeah, I'm surprised that Rachel let him drive it. Yeah, I, When they cut inside the car and I see that bozo just kind of like doing this with Tesla, <laughs> I can see Rachel just being like, oh, he's going to screw it up somehow. Yeah, but anyways, they go to a, uh, a little... Uh, they get on a plane and go to Palm Springs and they go to this... Dog house, basically. It's like a dog festival yeah. put on by BarkBox, yeah. a company that yeah. sends you dog treats every yeah, month. Yeah, exactly. It was Coachella for dogs, basically. <laughs> yeah, it, was. it was. It was like right near where yeah, Coachella is, yeah. by the way. And uh, man, was this the easiest date of all time to okay. ace? Well, I'm honestly, we were talking about that. I'm glad you brought this up because I think dogs are the biggest crutch in a first date. Yeah. And I'm saying this as someone who's done it four times of the last... Six first dates I've been Yeah, on. man. It's a piece of cake. It really is. You so, get to show a soft side, a vulnerable side. You, What's easier than getting along with a dog? Right. So right. you get to have that level of intimacy right. that the girl can like see herself with. Or guy. You yeah, know. and God forbid you run into a situation where you don't have anything to talk about. You got a dog right start there. Start petting him. Just start petting the dog. Yeah. Exactly. Bring just a buttload of treats and yeah. you're set. Yeah, exactly. You're golden, or should I say, oh. copper. Nice. Nice. Absolutely. I'm going to sit the rest of this segment out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we should mention, uh, Peter's the guy that goes on the date. Uh, we oh, didn't actually yeah. mention that. And yeah. uh, so... I don't watch the show, but in my head from now on, he's going to be called Mr. Robot. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. That's should the... we skip right to the, the dinner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to skip right to the dinner because, man... Uh, we this whole episode was getting to learn more about certain guys and like whoa we learned a lot about Peter in this that he does not have any emotion at all. It's like he's one of those you know how the Japanese every like two or three months come out with this robot mm -hmm. that mimics human behavior <laughs> so well like it has the perfect <laughs> arm throwing motion for a football like it can do yeah. Tom Brady's arm throwing yeah. motion. It seems like Peter is that kind of robot, but they haven't figured out how to program human emotion <laughs> into him yet. Yeah, seriously, so she would man. be telling him about like therapy sessions, right? And he'd be like, "Oh, yeah." <laughs> Every time he answered with one word, a frigid, yeah. frigid. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. It was so bizarre, it, yeah. and it was also like he, you could see like the cogs in his head turning of like raise eyebrows now, <laughs> yeah. smile now. Yeah, yeah, it, it really so, did, man. It, it, it was it was like uncanny, really. It was unsettling. weird, and yet Rachel ate it up, yeah, dude. I don't get oh it. man, he is going straight to the top two I as far really as I really don't get it. I if I'm her after that date, I'm saying to the producers, hey, play that like bouncy music that where you're like, <laughs> not supposed to know what's going on. But dude, they were both in therapy. As it became apparent during the day. They both yeah. talked about how they had relationships. She kept therapy. saying that she was freaked out because she kept finding similarities. Yeah. And anytime she said she's freaked, I saw Peter like sitting up in his chair a little <laughs> bit like he's a serial killer and he's like worried his secret's gonna come out. Yeah. It's like she freaked out about what? Oh, that we both have got you. Cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, that freaks me out too. Yeah. All right, quick time out here before we get into the tomorrow fiasco. Just want to put all my journalistic integrity cards out on the table here. Mm -hmm. Kareem is a personal friend of mine. That's right. You guys used to work together. I used to work for a company that yeah. sent in these TV episode synopses. Mm -hmm. I'd edit them. I'd send them back to him. I, he'd send back an LOL. Ah, ah. <laughs> this was pre-emoji, but he definitely would have sent me yeah. like a heart emoji. Something like that. Cry face. You know, the, the best buddy emojis. Right, absolutely. Uh, now, was this four years ago and we haven't spoken since? Yes. Yeah. Okay, hand up. But <laughs> I, like to I like to think he still remembers. Well, was he as good of a poet as he is a basketball player back then? Because he sure is now with his Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I was going to say, he is an NBA Hall of Famer. He is a first ballot Hall of Famer at reading people. Yeah, at Foresight. Absolutely, man, because he called DeMario spot on exactly. at that basketball exactly. game. So this group date, the boys played a little game of b-ball mm. with a little bit of switch, yeah. as the date card said. It was an, it was an offensive, like, oh. there was some firepower yeah, on just, the offensive side. Does anybody play defense anymore Yeah, basketball? we gotta fix this. I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, this Christ. is another video, but I, I think we gotta fix <laughs> the Bachelor pickup games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Enough with the high scoring <laughs> contest, all right. Uh, anyways, game ends. And boy, oh boy, are we in for a little bit of a dramatic treat, mm -hmm. my friends. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Let me set the scene. Let me yeah, yeah, please. So Rachel goes into the locker room, asks Demario if she could, if he could step out with her for a mm -hmm. second. Now, Demario, having scored a whopping <laughs> twelve points, <laughs> yeah. thinks he's about to get the rose. Yeah, that's right. Little does he know that he is being sent into the lion's den. <sighs> 
And his ego goes from, it goes from on top of the cliff to at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. That's right. It goes, he goes from splat. Goes from the past, comes back, and becomes a ghost from the present. Yeah, I think this is much closer to the present because, than you would like to admit. Because somebody comes in and says, hey, not only did we not break up, but you still got the keys to my apartment, and I got the receipts to show it. And when you're in a situation like that, one mm -hmm. has to lie. Mm -hmm. Because if they tell the truth, then they he's not going to be like, all right, see you guys, you caught me. I'm going home. I don't want to cause you any more pain, <laughs> right, any more right. trouble. You got to lie. Yeah. So he at first went with the, I don't know this woman lie. Classic. Then he went with the, this bitch crazy. <laughs> uh, Another classic. Then he went with the, I did the gentlemanly thing and broke up with her in person. <laughs> he had three avenues to go down. Yeah. Granted, you only have like really a second to decide what's right. your strategy. Right. But he that scattershot approach just never worked. Yeah, he literally hit D all of the above. <laughs> rather than just picking one. And got a D on each one of those oh, approaches. Definitely, definitely, definitely did he do that, man. <laughs> he got a D for definitely <laughs> yeah, and all those approaches. He said like a hundred of those oh in my like God. 30 seconds, I, I swear. I, I, I would love to play poker with him, honestly, because I think if I put down a bet and he wanted to bluff, he would just be pushing in his chips while yeah. screaming definitely mm -hmm. over and over and Not over. Not a very good liar, that's for sure. Awful liar. I mean, but the, the cool thing about this whole thing uh, was that, I mean, for the first time in, like, what I can ever remember, we actually get a moment in Bachelor that really pays off. Oh, this absolutely delivered. It absolutely because delivered. Because her send-off was not a... I'm, I, I'm, I've been uh, dejected. I, there right. wasn't, there wasn't any sense of like victimhood necessarily. No. She was just pissed, dude. It was good old fashioned piss. It was a two handed slam dunk and said, "Get the fuck out of here!" Literally. And I, I don't think she was only pissed at Demario. I think she was pissed at the Bachelor producers, Chris Harrison, Bachelor producers, because they clearly set it up. Yes, you know, I think she's her. walking back in thinking, "Okay, so you're telling me five, six days ago." I sent somebody home who could have been a nice, sweet, right. gentle soul. Right. But instead, you had Demario stick around here so he can get like a 15 minute of mildly amusing mm -hmm. television. Mm -hmm. And I think she's like, listen, homie don't play like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If there's one thing we learned about Rachel tonight, it's that she does not like to be played. She don't play. That's it. The buzzer has sounded on this Bachelor recap. Nice touch. You like that one? Very nice touch. Uh, but of course, it would not be a Two Bros and Brick recap without the Two Bros and Brick stat of the night. Oh, Katniss Everdeen. Yeah. Yeah. Of the Katniss night. Everdeen. Tonight's the stat of the night is brought to you by The Hunger Games. Uh, uh, that's right. Get it on DVD and Blu-ray. <laughs> At DVD and Blu-ray. Streaming now. I watch us get sued by whatever company. <laughs> Do not <laughs> promote our DVDs. Yeah, guys, this, yeah. this, this stays between us. <laughs> yeah. um, but our Saturday of the night, and I don't know why this this captures my attention. Mm -hmm. uh, borderline irritates me, mm -hmm. but 80%, 80% of the guys that she kissed tonight went with lead with their hands to the side of her face or to like the side of her neck. But not just one hand. Two hands. They did the yeah. two-handed slam jam. It's like they were afraid she was gonna like wiggle out of it. Yeah, they, and they wanted to like yeah. put her in like a cage or something, like a zoo animal. Yeah, yeah. They were really asserting that domination yeah, right there. I, 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 something about it makes me feel not great. You don't do this with two-handed slam jam? I, I, I definitely don't call it that. <laughs> uh, I, no, not really. I'm more of a, a two hands behind the back uh, professor. <laughs> Look, no, it's yeah. I but honestly, I do the behind the back. Uh, or behind the back, <laughs> behind the neck. I do behind the back pass. It's a sick assist. Uh, Great assist. But I, I do behind the neck, and I just kind of like gently pull them towards me. Nice. That, that's kind of my move. I usually go for the armpits, like Eric did. Yeah, that's, Eric really went for the one. pits. That's the Very... one. That's the one out of five that we aren't mentioning. He went for the pits. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what he's thinking, but hey, I, I think Peter might have gotten into his head. I was like. Just Smell their pits here. <laughs> All right, and on that note, uh, we are calling it for tonight. So yeah. if you like this, go ahead. You and wanted a long one. Yeah, you got a long one. You want one. a long one. You got <laughs> it. All right, uh, and if you want another long one, why don't you hit that subscribe button yes. so that you can join us yes. next week yes. where we hit 20 minutes. I don't know. Uh, but until then, we will see y'all next time. Adios.